Marion County's largest horse sales is back once again. TV 20's Emma Delamo reports it was business as usual today after a controversy over the weekend. Approximately 300 horses are up for sale each day, attracting both buyers and sellers from around the world. Peter Kerwin says he owned horses on the farm back in Ireland, but since moving to Kentucky, he's been both a buyer and seller at OBS. It's a game of dreams, right? So you dream, you make some money, and then when you buy for people, you hope you're getting value for money and that they go on to the racetrack, and uh, both sides are equally as fun. OBS President Tom Ventura expects thousands to visit this week's spring sale, bidding on two-year-old Thurl breads and training. While online bidding has been a popular option. When we have people coming from different countries, sometimes it's their fir first exposure in Florida. Visiting the horse capital of the world has a special charm. So they come in here, come into a horse sale, they drive around, see beautiful country, they'll end up buying some property here and moving here. And we see that time and again. Friends Christy and Mickey worked with horses throughout their life. Years ago I used to gallop these babies and I'm always interested to see how they're being bred, what's come up and coming and just the profile of the business. And visit the sale to get their kick in. Between OBS sales and the World Equestrian Center, there's always something going on to fulfill your horse dreams or admiring. Ocala police say a director at OBS was arrested last week after snatching a bag off a PETA employee videotaping a euthanasia at the under tax show. Staff say they cannot comment on the case. Instead, they say they're giving their full attention to their customers. In Ocala, Emma Delamo, TV 20 News.